real crafty. Hey, what's up, people? Thank you for tuning in to my Miles Morales Across the Spider-Verse suit build. This was a pretty fun build, but also highly tedious. I bought the suit off eBay. Uh, it was pretty cheap, and that kind of led to some difficulties. As you can see, there's not a lot of detail on this suit. Some suits have the little Z design on it all across the suit. This one did not, so I kind of had to wing it. That aside, the first problem I had to solve was how to keep the suit secure while I was painting it. So I actually ended up doing is I took a thick piece of craft foam, I think it was about three to six millimeters, and I taped that down to the table, and then I pinned the suit to that foam. So it would hold the suit in place, I could tape as many pieces of foam down as I wanted to, and that allowed me to just spin the suit around and repin it and get to painting. That's pretty much all the prep that I had to do, but when it comes to the actual painting itself, it is very tedious, it's a slow process, and you have to just take your time drawing each little design on the spots where you want them. You can kind of see when it dries, it's gonna dry flat and can create this nice little like decal. It's not gonna be all puffy how it is, um, which is kind of what I want because since I can't actually see what's uh, going on over here, um, I kind of just, you know, it's, it's just going to be what it is. So I've decided just to go into like a diagonal line. This is kind of the best version of that. I kind of fucked that up going up this way. So I'm going to continue those diagonal lines. And I'm just going to go all the way up and all the way down. I'm just going to go... Unlike most Spidey suits that have webbing, this suit just has a bunch of small little Zs all over it. So. The design itself wasn't difficult, just the placement. As I mentioned, there's, you can see here, there's really no Z's on the sides of those thighs. So you just kind of have to eyeball it and continue the direction you're going and go back and fill in what you can see and then continue and then just slowly fill in gaps as you're going. It was really hard to actually work in one single direction. I kind of had to bounce around all over the suit. Pro tip, if you're looking to dry your puff paint even faster, you can use a hair dryer. Just be really careful not to burn the paint or cause it to puff. Uh, just take your time going back and forth slowly. It takes about five to 10 minutes and you just wanna check it before you flip it or move on to another area. So that's what you're gonna see me doing for the next couple minutes. If you would like to skip the puff painting time lapse, please go to the time code that is now on the video. If not, please enjoy and I will talk to you soon. So it was actually really difficult to find red shoes with red soles. I ended up actually finding them at Ross. Pretty sick find. I knew that these would be comfortable because they were athletic shoes. And something to keep in mind, I'm actually an 11 to 12 in most sizes, but I knew that cutting the padding out, there would be lots of extra space. 
I had to compare the shoe to my bare foot and I noticed that I actually could probably fit a 10 and a half and it ended up working. So keep that in mind. I went from a size 11 and a half or 12 down to a 10 and a half without padding. Since the movie was literally that evening, I knew I didn't have time for shoe goo. So I ended up using super glue and a lot of it to make sure that the shoe was secure and walkable. Can't have too much glue. Carefully place the soles down and then clamp it. Super happy the way this turned out. Just goes to show that a little puff paint goes a long way. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want me to make next.